If you were to answer this, Nikki, I was free to decide how I carried out work. Okay. Would you, um, you agree, disagree? I do agree. Fully, all the way. Yes. Okay. I, I do what I think is oh, the okay. best. That's not always For, for Nikki's manager, <laughs> she agrees with all of these. Nikki thinks that she has all five out of five stars here. All of these things. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Monday Coffee, Las Vegas edition. This is the third episode. Tomorrow we have the fourth, the last one. And today I have a special guest, Rodney, with me. <laughs> Whoa, Rodney is an Atlassian creator and a blogger. You probably know him under a nickname. I am the Jerry guy. He is that guy, yes, yes. So Rodney is going to be helping me deliver the news from the yesterday's keynote. It was really, really interesting. Amazing. Wow, like we were left speechless. So let's just quickly run through it. Uh, I have a note here. <laughs> I'm not going to be reading, just quickly scan through it. So the new tagline of the teams is uh, impossible alone and possible together and it shows for it you can see the whole community coming together but also really really interesting products being launched from a new initiatives in Atlassian so there are a few that were announced that we already probably all know so there was a Jira product discovery which is basically tools for product managers to help them uh, prioritize the ideas and basically take the idea to the roadmap and to the delivery. So really, really great tool that is now in beta. I think it's going to be launching to the public. You can already give it a try and it's going to be coming uh, out from beta very, very soon. Uh, there is also a Beacon product. Would you like to talk a little bit more about yeah, that? Yeah, um, Beacon product is that lasting answer to various security concerns. What it does is allows you to kind of detect and alert on various anomalous logins, searches, whatever and then port those directly to your JSM instance to um, take action on. It sounds like it's going to be a big help for those who have a lot of security concerns. Absolutely, and there was a big, big queue on the Beacons, uh, Beacon stand after, after the keynote, so I guess a lot of people are interested in that. I mean, Elastian said they caught someone within a week of it being in production, so I think that's a pretty big claim onto its own. Wow, 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 it's really, really good. Give it a try. There's going to be a link in the description so you can sign up for the beta. Um, and another product that they were announcing was Atlassian Together. Uh, I guess that's nothing new for us who are watching the Atlassian space, but basically what Atlassian Together is, is a one subscription to get them all. If you like Pokemons, you like Pokemons, right? I do, of I do. Of course, you do. So uh, you can basically get a lot of Atlassian products under one subscription, like Jira, uh, Trello, uh, Confluence, Atlas, and so on. And uh, you get just one Atlassian pillow, basically. Now to the new products, something that you haven't heard of, and probably the most exciting one, drum roll. Uh, Atlassian Intelligence. Let's talk about it. Yeah. Um, Elastic announced that they're bringing large language model learning into their whole cloud platform. Um, it allows you to create text, um, do searches, do all this amazing thing with just natural language cues. And the big feature that I think they really harped on is it is both rich tech enabled. So you're not just generating text, you're generating graphs, documents, all this information from just basic questions. I mean, it was amazing. Like, I couldn't believe what I was seeing. Like, first of all, the normal use cases that we would expect was just like a chatbot for the service desk. Atlassian actually said that when they had it in production, it cut 50% of their agent's time. So now, you know, people on their support have more time to resolve the actual issues where you would need a human to mm -hmm. do something and you don't need to, you know, answer where is, how do I expand something and so <laughs> on, which is really, really great. Yeah. Yeah. So there's also atlassian.com slash AI. You can sign up for the beta there. Yeah. Um, one of the use cases I really enjoyed them showing is something I actually talked about a couple of weeks ago on the blog is using it to change the tone of your inflection. May say uh, change an email that's otherwise maybe not as um, personable and make it more empathetic. That is a massive use case because um, frankly, something I struggle with sometimes. Yes. <laughs> I must, I must admit, me as well. I would love to have this in emails. There's probably some plugin, but like having this on a Jira service management is definitely a game changer. Yes, yes. Okay, well, let's move to the next update, which is a Confluence whiteboard. Uh, I think I, I, maybe I heard about it. It was under the point A program, but now they're in beta, so you can sign up for the waiting list. It's atlassian.com slash whiteboards. And basically what it is, 
boards, whiteboards in Confluence, as you can expect, and uh, you can it enables you to do a discovery and brainstorming directly in the Confluence, so you don't need to go to any outsider tools. And it also integrates really, really well with Jira, so you can convert your sticky notes into a Jira ticket, but it also supports a Jira links, so you can create these beautiful dependency maps and if you change the link like from uh, ticket to ticket in Jira it updates in the white uh, in the whiteboards and the opposite so you can basically create these links in the whiteboards as well yeah so I think this is going to be definitely a game changer for the dependency mapping okay well this was whiteboards let's talk about Jira service management so there were a few announcements about ending the bad service management was there something interesting that impressed you from these yeah, um, the first thing that I'd say is what they actually say for last. Um, they're giving us finally the ability to customize the portal in a way that shows off all our brands and helps, uh, helps our customers find information much easier. So I cannot, cannot express how excited I am to have a JSM portal that actually represents us. Yes. So that was the big one. The other announcement they made is, um, I believe it was five new um, templates for projects, JSON projects. I am a huge fan of templates. This is something I've been asking and lasting for for years. So now that they're on board and they're creating so many templates, I am here for it. I can't wait to get home and start playing with these. Um, yeah. There's never enough templates, and I think it's always like simplifies the setup. Mm -hmm. So it's really, really great. As I've always said, if Atlassian could give us 90% of the way, I as a Jira admin could get us the other 10%. So. They have heard us, they are doing this. Let's dig in. Yes, maybe we should share more feedback on the community, definitely had it there. Okay, <laughs> well, uh, we are going to wrap it up soon, but uh, let's just uh, talk a little bit about security and performance. So Atlassian done a few announcements on increasing the user limits uh, on their cloud platforms. So in Jira and Confluence, you will now be able to have a 50,000 users. And on Jira Service Management, you will be able to have uh, 20,000 agents. I can't even imagine like what that 20,000. That's so much. Well, that um, is. Yeah, like, I would love to see the company like did function with 20,000 agents. I mean, there are companies like that, but it's just an incredible number for me. And uh, they also increased the performance, and they are now HIPAA, ISO, and GDPR compliant. There are a few more compliance uh, that they've done last year, and the FedRAMP is in progress, so if you are, you are waiting on that one, uh, that's good news for you. There's also bring your own key encryption on the AWS, so you can secure your Chia now. And... Uh, Atlassian Access got upgraded as well, so they are now enforcing SSO for uh, Jira service management uh, for the portal users only, so there are some good news for enterprise customers as well. Any yeah. other take uh, takeaways on the main keynote? Um, no, Atlassian is definitely listening to us, listening to our pain points and starting to address them. So um, I'm excited to see what the future brings because it's all uphill from here. Absolutely, it's really amazing. Well, before we end the Monday coffee, I have a special segment. Uh, Christine De La Rosa from Teamwork Lab shared her booth with us. Christine De La Rosa from Hello. Atlassian. So Christine, can you tell us a little bit about what you are doing in Atlassian with the Teamwork Lab? Oh, sure. The Teamwork Lab um, is this booth that we have at Team 23, the conference. Um, we've had it last year, we have it this year, we hope to have it every single year. but. It's a different way to interact with um, experiences about how you team with different teammates. That's, I said team many times in a row. I don't mean it to be that yes. way, but essentially think about um, what practices do you have? So Nikki, let me just, before I get into it, let me ask you, can you name something that your team does on a regular basis? A ritual, a behavior, a practice, like yes, anything that's recurring? Give me an example. Yeah, I'm working on a product team, so we do have a daily state stand-ups, but daily only stand -up. three times a week. Okay, Great. We've done Great. We've done the cleanup of the rituals that you recommended, actually one of the... Ritual uh, reset yeah. play, so if you've never been to the Atlassian Team Playbook, you can go to AtlassianTeamPlaybook.com. Uh, ritual reset play, you do daily stand-ups. Imagine if you went on a team and you suddenly didn't have access to that anymore. You weren't allowed to do daily stand-ups. You weren't allowed to take a look at how you team and like clean it up and decide, should I do a retro on how we work together? Like, do you feel differently? Would you want to be on that team? Do, would you wish that you worked differently? Yeah, you would need to like figure out how to do things. It's quite hard, right? right so right. there needs to be some kind of That's right. guidance. So what the Teamwork Lab does, it goes like, oh, some teams have this. Some teams do daily stand-ups. Yes. Some teams have one-on-ones with their managers. Some teams have, uh, 
you can input into decision making for like when you plan for the quarter or for the year. But some teams don't, or some individuals on one team do, and some individuals don't. And so this whole thing is kind of like an interactive museum on, oh, this is an interesting practice. How come our team doesn't have it? Oh, oh wow, I relate to this story that I'm hearing right now um, via the headphones. We have some audio stories. And um, it's weird that a lot of people don't have access to the, this experience that they're having. And so the whole point is to just become more aware of the fact that people work differently teams work differently, people within the same team work differently, and perhaps if we just knew that a little bit more, uh, we could change the way we work, we could have more context and understanding about what other people need and just improve the way we work as a result of being more aware. That's amazing. Does this also somehow connect to uh, your team's report that you're doing yearly? You're uh, like checking oh, the health state of, of the teams? teams? Yes, exactly. Uh, actually, one of our... Um, one of our, so we have a lot of activities in this booth, and one of them is this kind of uh, survey Likert scale. Oh. These are just, right, so these That's are all great. movable. Uh -huh. um, and you can see here that this is a bit of a code of like, yes. do you strongly agree or do you strongly disagree? And you can kind of move these, these different uh, bubbles see. and nodes I to see. where you, how much you agree. So for example, on this first one, if you were to answer this, Nikki, I was free to decide how I carried out work. Okay. Would you um, you agree, disagree? I do agree fully, all the way. Yes. Okay. I, I do what I think. Is oh, the okay. Best. That's not always for, good. for Nikki's always manager. Good. She agrees <laughs> with all of these. Nikki thinks that she has all five out of five stars here. All of these things. These are, by the way, um, okay. just a sample of things that uh, are an indicator of whether or not you have like a healthy work environment. Yes, yes. And so the state of teams report that you're talking about, like we do regular surveys uh, with different folks uh, all around the world. And in a recent wave, uh, we were able to see like, okay, overall, like what um, did people say compared to what you said? Mm -hmm. We also broke it down by a uh, different country. Um, but I'm actually gonna close this. This doesn't matter. The actual numbers, I don't want you to say like, oh, I'm better than all the other countries. Yeah, I'm better yeah. than all the aggregates. All that you need to acknowledge is say like, whoa, not everybody is like all the way to the right. Yeah. Like, oh, my experience is not representative of like all these other yeah. uh, users responding to the survey. And so there isn't a right way or a wrong way or you're not better or worse than other yes, people. It's yeah. simply just to acknowledge Everyone has different experiences, and like, let me ask you here: like, if now that you know, since you have an amazing, everything all is to the good, right, which is suspicious. This is shouldn't I mean, be like this, let's, right? Well, well, how do you feel? So, like, let's say um, I'm on your team, and I am like all the way here, and I would be so happy. That's that's strange, right? But so, like, yeah, what's going on here? Yeah. Is there a difference in our experiences? Are you having a different? relationship with the team or oh okay all right all right <laughs> I'll move you there. No, but it's just it's a bit of a discussion and so like a lot yeah. of our um activities all around kind of talk about uh illuminate an aspect of teamwork and a teamwork practice and whether or not uh it's universal um let me show you actually do you mind if i take you around to a couple yeah, definitely. other definitely let's have a look activities let's let's actually go outside okay great that was amazing if you're interested in the full Boot rundown for the Teamwork Lab. Have a look at the video, link is in the description. And don't forget to visit the booth if you're on the Atlassian teams, it's definitely worth it. You can find my latest news from the keynote out. It should be out the same time as this video is coming out, thejerryguy.com. Um, come find me if you're here at Team, you get a shiny sticker. And um, really worth it. <laughs> it said, look forward to seeing you guys around. Thank you so much for watching and enjoy Teams. <laughs>